everyone, it's your girl Stephanie, and today we are faking some piercings. I was just talking with my girlfriend the other day about how when I was like 13, 14, I used to always put fake piercings on, not even to go out in public, but just like hang out in my room and play The Sims or go on MySpace. This is also a really non-committal way to see if you actually want piercings, no holes involved, just a little bit of glue. So today we're gonna talk about some stuff around the nose, the mouth, the ears, and even around the eyes. If you wanna see more videos such as these, please make sure to subscribe, join the sisterhood, no matter your gender identity or preferred pronoun, please join the family. All right, we're gonna start off with some nose stuff. Let's start off with the one that is in my face already and doesn't involve any glue at all, and that is a septum piercing. I got mine pierced secretly when I was 16. Very bad, my parents didn't find out about it until I think almost like a year later, but I mean, I've had it for a decade now, which is crazy to think about. <laughs> when I was a kid, septum piercings were definitely not popular at all, and you know, obviously a few years ago they became very popular all of a sudden, there was a big boom of septum piercings. So I have some of these actual uh, fake piercings that you can buy. But I also bought a little bag of different sizes of actual septum piercings. So these are the ones that I started off with, which is the ones with the little bull ring pretty much with the ball bearings on the end. And I got all of these items, by the way, on Amazon. I'll definitely link out everything in the description box down below. So I'm gonna go the second to smallest, which I believe is the closest to the septum piercing that I have in my nose right now. And by the way, I don't know the sizing to this. I went to a um, piercing shop and got this just inserted in my nose. So I think that's a really good tip. If you actually wanna get it done, just go to a nice shop and they will take care of your sizing for you. But all you gotta do with this little guy is just pretty much stick it up your nose. If you need to widen it up or close it up a bit too, the metal should be malleable. So let's do this. There we go. I just stuck it there right behind my first piercing. So that's definitely an option if you wanna just go ahead and get the actual piercing. And again, you can really test out sizing this way. And the second one that I wanna show you is the actual piercing that is in my nose now. And this is a seamless ring. So in order for me to get my septum piercing into my nose, what you do with this ring is you twist it and then you hook it in and then clamp it again, most likely with some very small pliers, jewelry pliers, that's what you can do it with. But you can also fake it with this one as well, since it's bendable, you can just kind of widen it up and then stick it in there and using the little jewelry clamps or even just your fingers, but it's easier if you have some sort of grip on it, kind of close it so it, it really closes in on the skin. Definitely don't try and clamp your skin because that would really hurt after a while. Um, but yeah, if you want to buy one of these seamless rings, I think that is an even more secure way to fake having a piercing for sure. And then finally, we have these kind of piercings. I really don't need to explain too much about these. There are so many different fake septum piercings now out there. I think Vita Kush has some of the like mid-range ones for sure. The ones I got from Amazon, these are cheap as hell, seriously. But in a way it could be a good thing because if you lose it, it's not a really a big deal. I've had a nice one where I had it in and I don't even know what happened, it just fell out and I totally lost it and I was pretty bummed about that. And if you have it in, some of these, like you can't really tell that they're that cheap. So I'll just stick one of these in. There we go, a little bit more embellished there. These have gotten so popular. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they've kind of dipped down a bit. There was definitely a time where super embellished septum piercings were very popular, but it still looks cool and it stays in place pretty well. You just, really all you gotta do is just shove it up there and you're good to go. All right, let's talk about some nostril piercings. Here I have this little nail art wheel of little, I thought that they were metal, but they're actually plastic little half circles. To glue everything onto my face today, I am using some Duo Eyelash Adhesive in white clear. And then in order to dot it on, I'm just using a bobby pin. So I'm just gonna grab the one that I want. I have a little glue on the end of the bobby pin. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. There we go. Pretty easy peasy. I think it's a pretty convincing looking piercing. The other option obviously for nostril is a little ring and I found these rings online as well. This is what I actually got from like Hot Topic when I was a kid to play around with. So these little rings are kind of spring action rings that have a flat backing. You've probably seen these before. They're pretty common out there. Yeah, and if you can't get anything online, I think these would definitely be at like a Hot Topic or a Claire's. 
So all you have to do is pull it back and obviously the part that you want to show doesn't have the wide backing. Actually, I haven't tried this out on my nose, so. Okay, let me see if this works. What? There we go. <laughs> it looks pretty ridiculous. This one is not the most convincing piercing ever because this ring is humongous. Moving down on the face. So this is a piercing that I have been thinking about for years. I've, I've really wanted, I'm, I'm still debating getting this piercing and it is the Medusa, which is right here in the cupid's bow of your lips. And obviously goes through all that, so it's a pretty thick chunk of stuff to go through, but if I could fake it for the time being, why not? So I'm gonna grab a size larger than this one here on my nose and just go ahead and do the same thing. Ooh, got it. <laughs> okay, let's let it dry for a second. But that is pretty much what a Medusa would look like. Oh, I love it, I really wanna get it. Let me know what you think if you think I should get uh, my Medusa done because I really like it. Moving on to lower lip, obviously you can use one of these little guys right here, the spring action fake piercings. You just have to go in from the side and slide it over. Hmm, you know, not really sure how I feel about side like piercings or snake bites. I, when I was younger, really, really thought snake bites were super hot. <laughs> you know, I think a really cute piercing if you wanna do it around the lips would be to get a little stud right here. My girl Ellen actually has that and it's so subtle, like you can hardly tell that it's there. So let's try and stick that one there. I'm gonna take this ring out. Wow, I did not even really mess up my lipstick. Pretty good, pretty good. I actually have it here for touch-ups. This is a new lipstick by Maybelline, their matte lipstick in 560 raw chocolate. I'm not even sure if this one's out yet. It's supposed to be out, I think, in 2017. So look out for this because it's nice. It's not like a super matte lipstick. It's very comfortable, but it has a nice finish to it for sure. Okay, we're going to stick another one of these little things to my face. Oh, that's pretty cute too. It actually is like underneath the shadow of my lip. It'd be so, if this one wasn't here, I'd be have very symmetrical uh, piercings going on. I'm gonna let this dry for a second though. All right, so we've currently gone through four different piercing sites so far. We got the nostril, the septum, we got the medusa, and we got the lower lip. Let's move on to some ear stuff really quickly. Obviously, you can glue these to your ears. There you go, you got a little simple ear piercing. I actually also purchased all of these which are just nice little crystal versions of these half circles. You can see that you can kind of put these in the ear area. You can also use, again, this little spring action guy. This is pretty much really, I think, the best in the ear. Here we have an upper cartilage. That, to me, looks real. That looks really real to me. We can also just put it where the earlobe is as well. But after a while, you know, these ones start to hurt a little bit, you know? They'll really start to pierce at your skin because it's just squeezing so much. So that's when it can become uncomfortable. But I used to wear these ones like all the time pretending that I had, you know, cartilage stuff and lip stuff. So it's definitely bearable. And then you can also do this area of the ear as well. Really shove it in there. Don't be shy with these things. All right, there we go. And you know, there are also a lot of really cool ear cuffs that do the same thing, but are much more embellished looking. I'll uh, link some cool ear cuffs down below. Now we're gonna move on to the eye area, and you're like, Stephanie, where the hell are you gonna pierce your eye? I'm not talking about in your eye, not even talking about the eyebrows. I'm talking about beside the eye, a little pretend dermal. I've had a lot of friends in the past who have had piercings in this area. If it were a little like bar to go through the skin right here, or a dermal surface one that is right next to the eye here. Um, I was really obsessed with it for a while because I always thought it would look really cool with two piercings. If you have a really nice long cat eye, could almost touch the piercings. Um, I no longer want that anymore. So I'm kind of glad I didn't do that because they kind of have a high rejection rate 
in that area. So yeah, I don't really know about these or like, you know, people get their uh, collarbone pierced or like the back of their wrists, like some crazy stuff. So I don't really know about that at all, but we're just gonna stick a little gem there and pretend we got one. All right, I grabbed the little clear gems out of that collection of nail art gems that I purchased. And I'm going to carefully place it right here. Oh, ooh, all right. So when I was younger, I used to like to place the gem just right here on both sides to look very symmetrical. And then I just started getting into just putting gems on my face. So I used to stick them right underneath my eyes here, which is super fun. I used to do it right here in the inner corners too. So you do like a larger stone and then right next to it, smaller stone. You can do so many things with these little nail art things. Obviously, I think that this is like the least convincing of any of the things that are on my face currently because it definitely just looks like a little gem is glued to my face. Cause you can really tell when something's an actual dermal, but it's fun, whatever. All right, everyone, that was my fake piercings video. Obviously I did not cover all the piercings I could have covered. There's the Monroe, the cheeks one, but I think you get the picture. You get some stuff, you glue it to your face, see if you like it. You know, if you're satisfied with that, there's absolutely no reason to even pierce your face, but if you wanna do it, Go ahead and do it. Do what makes you happy. I'm actually really curious to hear from you. I'm gonna create a poll on the side. My first poll ever. If I were to get one of these four piercings, which one do you think it should be? Should it be the dermal on the side of the eye, the nostril, the medusa, or the lower lip? Let me know. I'm very, very curious to hear what you think. All right, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please subscribe. It would really help a sister out and let me know. I should keep on making these videos. I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.